Well, it is definitely the weather video of the day, giving us all a view of a tornado that most have never seen before, looking right up the side of it from below. You'll see that in just a second. Tonight, we hear from the man behind that video about those terrifying moments as that twister approached. Eric Connor is here with that tonight. Eric. Bill, the tornado touched down in an oil worker's camp in the far western part of North Dakota. This video was taken by some daredevil oil workers. They capture it all on a cell phone camera. Look at that, dude. Look at that. That is going down, dude. We got swirling. Dan Jorgensen and his buddy ran barefoot to their pickup truck, a questionable move. They started to drive, but the twister cut off their escape route. Debris was flying past their windows. The National Weather Service is calling the twister an EF2 with 120 mile per hour winds. This was just one of 140 severe weather reports from Texas to Florida in just the past 24 hours. Jorgensen says he is grateful he survived and doesn't plan on doing this again. I am not a storm chaser, and uh, my wife informs me that I'm never going to be. <laughs> the wives are always right. The tornado south of Watford City destroyed what's called a crew camp. Our Jason Davis was visit has visited one of these areas, these crew camps in North Dakota in the past. This is a video of what they look like. They're basically rows and rows of RVs that serve as mobile homes. The twister destroyed all 15 RVs in Rayleigh Park. Nine people were hurt. One of them, a 15-year-old girl, was critically injured. She was flown to a Minot hospital with a head injury, but is expected to survive. Incredible video, Bill. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that view right up the side of that tornado. That is amazing, Eric. Thanks.